Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Hello Pisces, this is going to be your reading and uh, we will get the cards talking for you this time. I'm using the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot card or Tarot deck. If you want to get a copy, check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Or you can follow me in Instagram. All right, Pisces. Let's find out what message do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The Moon. All right, not so bad. I feel like you're just being in your element right now. Yeah, feeling with you in your thoughts, in your emotions, feeling your deepest emotions so far. Yeah. The bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. All right. So you have, um, are you staying away from a situation, staying away from somebody? Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, you're not talking to someone. Um, I feel like you, there's someone in your mind, someone that you have been thinking about, um, someone that you're missing. Yeah missing remembering those good moments you have together but it feels like you probably are not really in constant communication with that person yeah and you would rather spend more time uh towards uh working towards your goals yeah your work your money making stuff or whatever things that you feel will be good for you in the long run because whatever um whatever this person may be Whatever this person's role in your life is right now, it feels like it's confusing you. You know, there's no clarity and um, it feels like um, you don't probably know where things are going with that person. But let's see. Yeah, but I feel like you are avoiding a situation, avoiding to um, talk to someone or face a situation um, up front. You would rather do things your way on your own, you know do other things what i mean now the person that you have in mind pisces i see here we have someone who is not um initiating towards you yeah i feel like they're also trying to be more happy with whatever they have in their life right now so it could be their friends whatever they're doing their work um this is a person who who tends to look for happiness if they can't find it deep inside they will go and find it in other people yeah, but towards you, I feel like they are not um, um, reaching out. Yeah, they're not really actively pursuing you right now. Yeah, but the funny thing is, I feel like um, they are not pursuing you in terms of calling or, or reaching out, but they know that um, you are their queen of pentacles and you're actually looking at the king of pentacles too. So this could be a person that you have dated or somebody that you have um, connected with, deep type of connection. Yeah, somebody that you felt, you know, could have been the one or something. Okay, let's see, but what's wrong here? Did you have a conversation with this person? Did you put them in their place? I feel like you probably had a... Um, one-on-one -on -one talk with this person you have given them your thoughts if you know probably it's a conversation around if you want this to continue if you want the relationship to continue then you gotta step up or you gotta i feel like there was a, a conversation between the two of you yeah that you shared your thoughts um and probably this person isn't much ready in terms of stepping up right in terms of stepping up um yeah they were not ready when you talk to them because i see that um the next action of this person they could currently they are walking away right they probably walked away from you but i see here that there's going to be some form of uh, message communication yeah and this person is even wondering if there would be a chance for both of you to, to reconnect once again or how to even reconnect with you. Yeah. 
So you're you're both kind of feeling lonely or not not lonely, missing each other, missing the times. Because I feel like with you, this person likes being with you, Pisces. They like what you had to offer. Yeah, this is someone who likes what you had to offer. And for now, if they were quite uncertain in the past, I feel like this person is looking for some commitment. And once they find that that commitment or that person that they really want, they would really pursue it. So if this person has told you that they are looking for someone, you know, serious at some point in time when you got to know them, they were serious then, yeah? So if you felt like there was a bit of um, um, indecision, indecision, yeah, from this person right now, it could be that they are not, you know, with the current situation that you have, Probably there are still some information or, or things that you don't still know about each other. So you are not that intimate yet, yet to ask for, for some form of commitment with each other. But again, if you are wondering if this person is looking for serious or committed type of relationship, I see yes. And with you, I feel like they were starting to get to know you. Just a little bit of what you have, a little bit of um of the Pisces that you are. So this person may need more time to really um need more time to get to know you before they can fully commit because they are looking for one. So once they see that yeah, this is the one that I really want, they would commit. Yeah. They would commit. On another, on another hand, if if you guys, if you know that this person is a bit flaky, you know, if they have been flaky towards you, some when you ask for details, when you ask, uh, when you ask them more, you know, to get to know them more, you feel like this person is hiding some truth or some information. That could be a a trigger, or that could be a. Um, a sign that this person could already be in a, another committed relationship. So that's just, you know, a side side note if, if you think that that could be applicable to you. But it feels like with you, Pisces, you made this person happy. You made them feel like, oh, there is another life being with Pisces. It's another um, shade of gray. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. And... Yeah, I feel like when when you talk to each other, you when you had that one-on-one -on -one talk, I felt like after that there was silence. It was not a bad um argument. For the most part, it could have been a very good one-on-one -on -one talk where you 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 heard them out, they heard you out, right? And you express your thoughts. But the thing is, you may not have been able to um, reach a compromise or a common ground yeah, at that point in time. So there was a pause. But I feel like that conversation would already or would um, give way, would give way to um, balancing the situation that you have. So for those of you who may have uh, recently known this person, you know, less than a year, um, and you know you're still trying to figure out figure out each other that talk has already opened the door of knowing what your intentions are and what their intentions are for you so whatever the results of that talk however they behave after that talk that would give you the answer yeah the behavior that they are showing for now though i feel like they are wondering if there would be a chance to for both of you to talk to each other, to get to to get together, to meet up, because it feels like things have already ended after that talk, especially if no one has continued talking, right? Um, it feels like things have ended and or there was an ending here. Somebody may have left or somebody may have traveled for the holidays and things like that. And you never got the chance to get together. Yeah, there's no talking. But someone here, even after that one-on-one -on -one talk, someone here is still not fully sure about the decision. 
And so after the talk, if you decided not to talk anymore or you break up, one of you is still not sure whether they want to let you go. Yeah, so they're still um, ruminating about what probably you have said. You know, they could probably still be um, processing it. Yeah, they could still be processing it. And that's the reason why they are not um, acting or taking action towards you right now. It's for them to process the information, the truth about what they heard from you before they could even take action. So they're, they're pretty um, cautious right now in terms of what their next step towards you. If you have given a lot of chances to this person in the past, then they know that this time, the next time they come to you, it's going to be for real. It's going to be with a lot more truth than they usually would give you in the past. Yeah. And I feel like they are beginning to be more mature. Yeah. So give it some time. If you are still hoping to, to hear this person out, I feel like give them some time to see if, you know, they reach out. Let's see. What else do we need to know about Pisces and the connection that they have? Yeah, you have someone here who is still still have their eyes on you. Haven't fully let you go. So they still think about you. They still think about what they could um mm. They still think about you. They have um Because it feels like both of you have the same goal. It's just that the way you talk about it or the way you, you deal with it, the goal about the relationship is different. So this person is still processing it. The ending may have affected them too. So when you broke up with them or there was a, a breakup after the conversation, that may have ended this per um, that may have affected this person too. Mm-hmm. But Pisces, nevertheless, after an ending, I feel like you will get a new love. Yeah? You will get a new love, whether it be this person or there will be um, a chance again to start a new romantic relationship for you after an ending. Yeah, And it's something that could bring more passion out of you. You know, it could bring out that passionate side of you, some meaning it's going to be an interesting ride. This could be a person that the one that you have been waiting for when they reach out, then there could be, you know, that beginning of you talking to each other once again and um, talking to each other and desiring to be on the same page. Yeah. After an ending, it's like both of you would have that talk um, once you reach out or once they reach out, then both of you will decide to be now on the same page. Where are you heading? And I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be good. One of you here is still not letting go. One of you here is still sort of planning as to how to get these two of cups again. Yeah. I wouldn't read this as that person having a new love. You know, usually that's how you see the two of cups, but this is your message when I said what do you need, what's going on with you, and additional messages for you. So after your ending Pisces, there is sure going to be another two of cups for you. I'm going to leave it at that, and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.